Hey there, my name is Nina Tulio, and I am the Business Education Ambassador for Oligo Professional. And today's topic is all about consultations. But I wanna do a little bit of twist, a little bit of a twist on this because I wanna share some consultation questions that you would be asking your guests, but I also wanna make sure that you're taking time to have your own consultation with yourself when it comes to choosing the right product to fit the client's needs, but also give you the desired result that you're looking for. So let's dive in and talk about questions to ask your client. And here's the thing, consultations are one of the most important conversations that you will have with your client. And honestly, it is really one of the factors on, it's a determining factor on whether a client will come back or not. And so taking extra time to do a consultation is key. I suggest if you're going to have in-person consultations with new clients to book out an extra 15 minutes for haircut clients or even up to 30 minutes for your new color clients. Now, I know that may seem like a lot, but we're looking to build rapport and relationships with your clients. And that's typically only going to be there for their first appointment, right? The other concept and other thing that you can do is start having digital consultations. You can schedule them, batch them once a week. You set up 15 minutes, you do it through an IG uh, video call, which is super easy, or you can use Facebook video call as well and set them up for 15 minutes or so. And now before you take your new clients and before they even book with you, you can sit with them, you can see them, you can see their hair, you can make sure that you're booking them for the proper amount of time. You can also really dive in a little bit and see what their hair goals and dreams are and make sure that it aligns with the type of target market client that you're looking for. So two ways that you can do consultations, but some great questions to ask are, uh, how much time are you spending on your hair? What do you absolutely love about your hair? And what do you not like about your hair? Um, talking product in consultation, I think is really important. What product are you using? But then uh, starting to prescribe product already from the consultation. Show me a photo of when you absolutely loved your cut and color. That's a really, really great question. So those are just some openers, right? To really talk to your clients and get to know them a little bit more. Uh, I do have a blog that you can check out that has a little bit more of in-depth consultation questions for your clients. So you can hop on Oligo Pro and check that out. And the second component to this is really when you walk away from the client, you gather all the information that you need because that's what you're doing. You're listening to the client during consultation. You're taking mental notes. In some cases, you're writing things down. And now when you have all the information you need and you feel comfortable enough to walk away and start to mix your color, now it's starting to ask yourself, what product should I be using? What is going to give the, the best result? What is it that's going to leave the hair in the best, uh, with its best integrity, right? How am I going to do this in a way that is efficient? You know, when we're talking about products like 8U, you can use 8U and you can actually use this one step. In one step, you can actually have superior lift with natural hair and cover 100% white hair in one step. So it's making those decisions. Are you going to be using um, Calora Permanent? Are you gonna be using Calora Gloss? What black light am I going to be using? You know, you have to ask yourself these questions and efficiency is part of that. It's del delivering the desired result in an efficient way where you can maximize the amount of clients that you see, but also maximize the amount of revenue that you're bringing in behind the chair. So I want you to think about this almost like two parts, maybe even three parts, because after you're done blow drying your client's hair, it is asking them those questions. How does your hair look? How does the color look? Are your bangs short enough? Do you think that we need to take a little bit more off? How does the length seem for you, right? There's another step to the after part, which is another 
set of consultations that you should be asking your client before they even get up and walk out the door. So there are a lot of different components to consultations. Make sure that you hop on oligopro.com and check out the blog on consultations. It will go into a little bit more depth on some of those opening questions. But really, really start to think about choosing that right product that really you feel good about that is going to de deliver the results that you're looking for and deliver it in a way that is effective and efficient. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy all of these videos. You can watch binge watch a bunch of them. If you're feeling like you want to get more business inspiration, you can check them out on oligopro.com on the business education page. If you have questions for me, feel free to slide into my DMS at Nina Tulio on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Thank you.